Welcome back to the Oracle Scroll. Today we're looking at Rebirth. Hi, I'm Kevin Walder, your host for the Oracle Scroll. And today we're looking at card number eight, Rebirth. Rebirth means complete rebirth, just exactly what the word says, but we have a hard time understanding it sometimes. It's difficult to put ourselves in that position because it is universal. It is a global change. It means that we are completely changing pretty much everything about ourselves, our lives, our traditions, and our beliefs. Since I have a background in interiors, I kind of tend to put everything in that kind of framework. So when you talk about rebirth, um, let's say you're trying to refresh your environment, your home environment. Uh, you might set out to change a paint color. Uh, you may change a flooring. Um, you might even take down a, a non-load bearing wall to open up a space. Those are all redecorating. Those are a long way from rebirth. Just walking across the street from one institution to another does not constitute rebirth. Rebirth goes much, much deeper and requires, once again, the engagement of all of our thinking centers, our mind, our heart, our gut, bringing all of them together because rebirth is, well, it's serious business. And in the spiritual community, we talk about it quite a lot. Um, being reborn is something that is central to many traditions. Here we are with the opportunity to be reborn. And when we go back to that, uh, that analogy of uh, the interior decorating and redecorating, if you were going to do something that would constitute rebirth, you're basically going to raise the building. You're going to take it right down to the foundations, maybe even beyond that point, and reconstruct something completely different in the space that had been allotted for the original structure. Something that looks, sounds, acts completely different from the original. That is rebirth. When we decide once and for all that tradition is basically just someone else's idea, someone else's ideal, so we, we have to figure out how we're going to replace those traditions in our lives. How are we going to put something in its place that is actually meaningful to us? Something that addresses our core value and our inner guidance and our intuition. Those are very important things that we cannot ignore. And no matter what the tradition, there's always something that just doesn't quite hit the mark, something that just doesn't quite line up properly. So how do we go about changing that? That is the process of rebirth. And basically it's just cleaning out everything that is old getting rid of all of the old structure. And you may preserve bits and pieces, but they are not going to be central to the actual structure. You are rebuilding on an existing plot, and that's pretty much the extent of what you're going to keep. Now, this being card number eight is perfect because it is a card of launching, beginning. It's kind of like another ace in the deck, as I always say. You've been through the challenge of the beginning, the work, the putting everything together, and all the challenges that come along later on. You've solved those things. You've met those challenges. You've re-envisioned your life. And now when you get to the eight, it says, let's, yeah, enough of this. Let's get going. Let's put this together. Let's make this happen. It's a launch pad. So here we are, ready to tear down all the old and rebuild the new. 
rebuild with something that is meaningful to ourselves, meaningful to our core group, our community, something that is actually going to serve us very well, much better than the old traditions might have been doing. Now, is rebirth something that we can share with our fellows? Hmm, well, on a very limited basis, we can be encouraging. We can actually offer some insights occasionally. But we have to be very careful that we don't become the guru or the guide. We don't become the person who influences our fellows to a point where they are no longer taking the responsibility for their own rebirth. That is something we cannot and no one else can do for us. We have to be able to have the strength and the courage to address that ourselves. And when we do, my, wonderful things begin to happen. And we begin to see in greater depth exactly how important our own intuition, our own divinity is to us. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Oracle Scroll. Please visit my website at kevinwalder.com where you can purchase any of the services that I offer. Also, check out my books, uh, Tarot for Lunch, Lessons from the Cards, and 22 Teachers, Healing Lessons from the Major Arcana. Both are available now at amazon.com. And most importantly, never miss another episode Click below, click the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're always up to date.